So Assalamualaikum dan selamat uh, pagi So this morning I will continue my uh, video lecture for subject 3.2 and mostly 3.5033 Okay so for this subject here you need to The title is understand infusion detection system and infusion prevention system Okay and this is the sub sub topic for 3.2 Okay Regarding the detection concept, organization, important of IDS, type of IDS is important, very important. Okay, IDS framework, types of IDS nature, tools of uh, IDS, okay, and institution prevention strategies, okay, also the information flow and the tools for IDS. Okay, now I will go straight to the institution detection system. So, what is institution detection system? Short form is IDS. Okay, this is a device. It can be a device or it can be a software application that is used to monitor a network for malicious activity or policy violation. Okay, so IDS this can be in terms of hardware, it can also be in terms of software, either way. As long as it functions to monitor network for malicious activity. So any violation will be reported and collected centrally using SIEM okay? or not a security information and event management system. So usually IDS uh, will be configured as a sensor, sensor for the SIEM. So some capable of responding to detect the intrusion means it detect that it can prevent. But some also do not have the capability to respond, it just can detect. Okay? So basically, this is the term that we will use. Okay? Intuition is the process of organ or unauthorized access okay, to information system or network. Intuition detection is process to identify the intuition has a code. Intuition detection system is a system software that collects information about the intuition. Okay, indication is the alarm or alert that provides notification for the intrusion. Okay, now the concept. Okay, so <coughs> intrusion detection process a uh, monitor computer network system for version of security policy. So there is a six different concept of IDS. Okay, the first one is the architecture. Okay, so they are basically a two primary architecture component of IDS. The first is uh, the host system. Okay, so the host system run IDS software, and the second is a target system that is to monitor the problem. Okay, the second concept is a monitoring strategies. So you want to monitor the detection based on what strategies? Okay, so it can be host based, it can be network based, it can be application based, it can be target based. Okay. An analysis step. So the detection for the uh, detection, how do you uh, choose the type for the analysis? First, you can use the uh, main use detection. Means you have the pattern. Okay, you download the pattern, the signature. So if you take any activity that's that of same near same with the pattern, it will uh, block. Okay, it will detect or anomaly detection means based on the behavior of profile. I mean, this example, this file never been accessed by this particular user, but suddenly it been accessed. So this is the anomaly detection. Okay, and the what what is timing? So different timing can be interval, watch, batch mode, or the real time. So you want uh, the IDS timing to be what real time? Or the batch mode. So if the real time, if the attack happen in the network, definitely you will know on time. This is real time. But interval batch mode, maybe it will take time in like say one hour, okay, thirty minutes. You will know the system will know, but it will take time, okay. So it based on the interval. Okay, so the goal of detection, what your goal of detection of the intrusion can be accountability of the response. It means you want to uh, uh, you want to respond to the attack or you want to have the accountability of activity who the one or the organization will do that okay and the control issue lah. so control issue is this last concept means the elements 
Control reader is from centralized or the part that is distributed or fully distributed. Okay, so monitoring detection can be out based on decision of this analysis point. Okay, now, so choosing an IDS for an organization. So basically, this I got uh, this uh, from SAN. SAN or uh, this is a very good web paper. So, when any organization want to choose IDS, there's a lot of things that they need to, uh, to consider. Okay, so this is the most important uh, step. Okay, in SAN, they, uh, they gave four. Okay, the first one you need to perform a risk assessment of your organization. Okay, why risk assessment? Because you need to know in your organization which is the most critical asset, the most critical system, the most critical software, the most critical data. So if you want to know that, you need to have a risk assessment. If something happens, what is the risk to the network? What is the risk to the data? What is the risk to the staff? Okay, so this assessment of your organization should be uh, okay. including the personnel, management personnel who will involve with the accountability of the uh, IT related uh, software or hardware. Okay. The second is organization requirement. Okay, what the requirement mean? Uh, the organization requirement. Okay, the company requirement. Does it need? Uh, to have a sub, uh, it usually requirement need to have support from top level management. Okay, if top level management doesn't uh, doesn't support the security in IT, it will be uh, difficult. Okay, to to choose that IDS. Okay, sometimes the management, the top management don't see the uh, importance of IDS. Okay, so you as a uh, IT person, okay, you need to uh, gather the requirement for the organization and you need to defend, okay, why your company need this and present it to your top uh, management, okay, because usually this one uh, required a course, okay. Understand your technical environment. Okay, you need to know your technical environment. What is the weakness of your environment? In your network environment, in your IT environment, in your software environment. Okay, what the strength? Okay, the strength is good, but the weakness. How can you overcome the weakness? That's why you need to know lah. So if you have a lot of weakness, then IDS is a very good choice to have in the uh, in the system. And cost benefit analysis. Uh, this is very important. Before you buy IDS, you need to perform a cost benefit analysis because cost is very important factor in decision making of management. So management will usually not uh, going to be supportive if the benefit doesn't exceed the cost. Okay, this is costly, but it's benefit is too little, so usually the management will not allow to buy this kind of uh, hardware or software, so you need to have a cost analysis. Okay, basically the loss of data, okay, the corruption of data will cost a lot more than the cost of having IDS. So this is a very important thing that you need to present your management. Okay. So next is important of IDS. So what is the important of IDS? Okay, the first, the first one is to ensure IT personnel is notified when attack or network intrusion might be taking place. So usually IDS will be working uh, twenty four hours. Okay, so some company which have um ship uh, uh network operation uh, operation center. They are usually in shift. They have a uh, day shift and night shift. So when anything happens, you get the engine detection, and IDS will detect, and it will um, inform to the IT personnel. Or the IT personnel, uh, let's say the they are small company, they don't have the shift, the night shift. Okay, they can uh, do some script. Okay, if the attack happens. The IDS detects some anomalies 
what they can do is the system will uh, send maybe the, an email or a whatsapp or a message okay so a signal that something bad had happened okay so next is network intrusion detection system it can monitor both inbound inbound and outbound traffic okay so this is a very very important of ITS because we want to know the data the data that come to the, our system to our system in private lah, and go to the web okay internet it must be a good data mean it's not infected with a malware it's not infected with a script which uh, will affect the pc the workstation okay if they detect this kind of thing ITA should be detect and they have if let's say the company have the prevention system they should have prevent okay the data from travels okay and the third one is for the IDS uh, monitor of uh, network traffic and figure alert. Uh, so if any suspicious activity or unknown activity that never happened suddenly happened, it should be triggered. Okay. And the last one, okay, when the uh, intrusion is detected, okay, the IT personnel should have a lock, okay, a lock, okay, to examine and take the step to block the attack okay let's say if the uh, company have ids but don't have the ids prevention system so at, uh, so at least when they have the ids okay they can uh, do something to block the attack okay attack usually consists of um, usually lah unauthorized access okay for the institution lah a malware detections, okay, downloading of uh, ransomware or virus, <laughs> or virus, okay, uh, so many things lah, okay, so type of IDS, okay. okay, type of IDS, so actually we have four type of IDS, okay, so in our subject we will go more into a uh, type, the first type which is uh, network based intrusion detection system. So, the another type of IDS is host based intrusion, and another one is distribution intrusion and protocol. So, what are the difference between all these? So, network usually, network and IDS usually set up at point within a network. So, it will usually examine traffic from all devices in the network. Either it's a network device or either it's a uh, end device it will examine all of it okay and the second is host space so host space usually we um, install on the um, on the client so on client it can be a PC or it can be a workstation or it can be a laptop so usually for host space intrusion detection system it will detect any intrusion in the host itself Okay, like usually, if you usually we do the host intrusion, uh, the system in the server. So if anything or any access time to have an other access to the server, okay, the host will do that. Okay, and alert to the IT server. Okay, and we can also have distributed intrusion detection system. So distribution distributed means we have the combination of Two or more means I can have a network base, I can have host base, and I can have protocol base, or I can only implement network base and host base. So this kind they have more than two. Okay, called distributed. Okay, so they have a different approach of intrusion detection and it will combine. Okay, and the last is protocol based intrusion. So protocol based intrusion usually we uh, use it. Okay, we implement this at web server. Okay, why? Because usually protocol based it used to uh, control uh, and monitor the HTTPS and HTTP stream. Uh, so usually for HTTPS and HTTP is used by the web server. Okay. So next is okay. So this is a uh, discussion three. So basically, if you are in a class. Okay, I will ask you to do by group, but mean uh, since you are only five 
to the two meters so what I need you to do is for you to do a man my map for all of this okay individually okay all right so I will go uh, through to the network best ideas so basically I will skip most of this because you should supposed to do this in the mind map okay so I hope this one all this one you can read this is my uh, help tools for you to understand okay I will go straight to the framework okay so this one I will skip because I expect you to read it yourself and do the mind map discussion too okay and you can also uh, Add some uh, more information from Google lah. Okay, so you should Google lah. Okay. So IDS framework. So this framework I got this from uh, MCMC Government Nation. It's Nation in there. So the framework are not as common intrusion detection frameworks IDS right? Okay. Model IDS as a four component. They have one is E box known as event component, A box analysis component, R box response, and the last one is a database box. So basically, database is what we call SIDM. Okay, this is the central list of all the log information. So what is the E box? So event box is mainly the sensor. The IDS itself has been installed. Either it can be Network or it can be in post. Okay, so a box is a way how the analysis the maybe the signature, maybe the behavior. Okay, if we go to respond, respond go to the database box. Okay, so this is for you to know. No need to memorize. It's not. It's good. Okay. So now I will go straight to the type of IDS signature. So this is very important. So they actually have three types of IDS signature. Okay, the most used one is signature based detection. So signature signature based detection have been used a long uh, for a long time, especially in antivirus and of firewall. Okay, it actually in antivirus lah, antivirus, anti malware, anti spyware. Okay, so based on signature based uh, based IDS. Packet in network is compared with the pre-configured or pre-determined attack pattern known as signature. Okay, how do you detect signature? So, signature actually we can uh, know the signature best usually based on the, the first uh, byte of the program itself. Usually it's the same. The, the body might be different but the first uh, byte, maybe the first uh, 100 byte. Okay, might be the same. So that's why they have the signatures. Okay, so if uh, the IDS detect, okay, the packet and the uh, signature is the same, okay, it will detect as a intrusion. Okay, another approach is can be detected based on statical anomaly base. So statical anomaly base need the based on the established baseline. They have a baseline. Mean based on of what is normal and what is not normal okay example eh alright so basically bandwidth is used and protocol are used but if something happens suddenly the bandwidth is used too much okay too much okay and uh, hours that should not have a lot of user uh, this is something wrong it might be a DDoS let's say lah Okay, it should be uh, at night, it should be not many user, it should not be have a lot of uh, traffic. But suddenly, it's uh, the uh, network spike, okay, the bandwidth spike. So, this is uh, what we call statical anomaly investigation, based on the baseline. Okay, so this is they will figure something wrong like that. Okay, step full protocol analysis. This is uh, very rare, lah, but some of the ideas. Let use this one. Okay, this method identifies deviation of protocol step by comparing observed event with predetermined profile or generally accepted deviation of bending activity. So we may they have one profile of uh, bending activity that it will uh, compare. Okay. 
so SEAL (uh) not many (uh) not many I_D_S use (uh) the SEAL detection usually they use A or B most of it use A which you guys okay so this is how it (uh) been done as you can see here for signature it based on signature base is match then is it lah okay for the anomaly based on system profile it's never be like that it's never be like that lah so something wrong okay so this is some of the tools that you can use okay for IDS so most of this most of this is uh what we call it proprietary okay only this one snort snort is the free open source so this one for you to know good enough but I don't uh, don't ask for you to more to know more than than what you know about the main okay what I want you to go find more information is snort okay all right so intuition now we go to intuition prevention system okay so intuition so then obviously we have intuition detection okay now we have intuition prevention so before you have a prevention prevention you need to have detection if you have this intuition prevention system but you don't have intuition detection it's useless okay useless why because you can prevent but you cannot detect it's useless in the system okay you should have detection then you have prevention okay so some IDS have a prevention system, intuition, interpretation, and prevention. But some IDS they don't have prevention. So if you want to prevent the attack, the IT personnel need to come over and handle it itself. So for the company that have a prevention, okay, what they use of prevention system? Okay, this one to prevent vulnerability exploit that they be detected by detection system. Okay, not only it detect, it can prevent, block. Okay, usually the block lah. So, there is three type of IDS strategy. So, uh, so this is no IDS eh. This is IPS. IPS strategy eh. Alright, so it can be post-based memory. Alright, it can be session interception. It can also be gateway intuition detection. So it monitor based on the executive process and the same for the process that look malicious. Okay, for the session, okay, it terminate a session by sending a set is something wrong. Take uh, detect the session is something wrong. We will uh, send a reset packet or the the gateway intrusion detection to block the traffic. Okay. So this is example in slot prevention strategies, eh? Alright, you can see here. Okay, this is based on the post-based memory. Okay. So okay, this is attacker try to go to the web server, attack, but then the firewall and the sensor send something wrong, it will block. The same with the uh slot session. Okay, the attacker try to attack the web server. Okay, the firewall uh, detect something wrong. It will send the reset to the uh, attacker and to the web server to uh, cut the the session. Okay, or the third one, I L I P S. Okay, they try to attack. It's not. Send something, it first definitely block all the thread on the attacker. So, this is information flow. Okay, so to information flow, only basically there are a lot of things here. So, I don't expect for you to understand all, but what I want you to know is at least, okay, you know the flow. The flow for IDS is from the raw packet, it will be filtered. It will be decoded, okay. Then it will be store, storage, okay. Seriously, sorry, eh. Ah, uh, here, okay. Filter, I get decoded. It will be storage, fragment, the assembly, the stream assembly back, then to be on numbers, 
there that is packed the discipline section and they have a boiled one, the last one. Okay, so this is from all my uh, slide here. This is I got from this. Actually, is this this information is from this uh, thesis thesis here. Right? So I want you all to do the mind map for this question. Only mind map, don't do the presentation. Mind map based on what you understand. Okay. So this is the IPL tool. So most of the IPL tool is of course is for paper. Mostly is for paper. I even uh, get find a open source set for prevention system. So the most used one is this one, Stone Gap. And the LFR service. Okay, so that's all for my uh, lecture today. So I hope after you uh, watch my video, please do discussion one. Sorry, my map discussion one, two, three, and four. And then when you finish, please upload in the C box. Okay, so next class will be three point three. Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye.